Good morning everybody, my name is Nate Morris and I'd like to welcome you back to another video. Today we have the first two rounds of the Cookout Summer Shootout. This is the first of two doubleheader weeks this week and then July 3rd and 4th will be another one. Uh, but today we have two rounds of qualifying and two races. So I hope you all enjoy this video and let's get into it. That's it for qualifying. I ran a 17.82 was my best lap, and that's my best lap I've run yet. Unfortunately, however, that puts me 30th of 38 cars. There's a lot of cars out here, and there's a lot of good cars out here. So uh, I'm definitely learning every time I get in the car, and I'm getting better, but uh, just not quite there yet. So being 30th, that'll put me sixth uh, in the B main race. And so the top four transfer from the B main, so I just need to be in the top four by the end of that race. The semi-pro ranks, the VP Racing Fuel semi-pro ranks, 39 cars. Oh that boy. gives us a 14-car B main, top four to transfer. Trevor Wester in the 8W, Chris Kuhn in the 18, All Olivia right, Murray in the 06. Zachary right there. That orange stripe is where we'll start this race next time by. We are lights out. Come Zachary Murtis in the number by. 02. Bradley Lowmaster in the L 11L. Nate Morris in the 25, Tessa Marine in the 99, Jack Poland in the 77P. Fair and Lady in the 31, the 007 of David Sullivan in the 4th, Lance Griffith in the 8, Michael Bradshaw in the 84, Jordan Plummer in the 22, and Jacob Link in the 74. This is 10 laps, top 4 to transfer, top 4 to transfer, 10 laps the distance. Into turn number three, off turn number four. Get to the restart zone. Green lights are out. A good looking restart by the semi pro drivers, the BP Racing Fuel semi pro drivers. And they're all still low. The 99 stops. Tessa Marie. Yeah, that car got sideways, gets it going. We stay green. Another one slow in the back stretch, but lap one of the books, Trevor Wester going to lead the way. And Good news yellow, for him, yellow, single yellow, file yellow, behind yellow, him, yellow, Steve, yellow, as Olivia Murray. Well, now yellow, we've got go caution for a car one, slow and now stopped forward. on the back straightaway. Elisha Malden, Elisha Malden in the um, 63 car stopped over there. Track caution lights are out, batting down the hatches. We're going to try this one again. One lap has been completed, nine laps to go. Trevor Wester. Gasses it up down on the low side. On the high side, Bradley Lowmaster. Here we go. I'm up off from turn number two. Again, great racing action at the front of the field. Four cars to qualify. Yeah, attaboy for those two on the outside, Steve. They were able to hang tough out there. Murtis loses one spot that is the transfer spot to Olivia Murray. Nearly slides down in front of the 25 and 8. Morris can't get it done. But man, what about that 11 of Lowmaster? Able to slide into fourth, gets a transfer spot, and now he's just got to hold on to it. Yeah, Lowmaster did a nice job working the top side of the speedway, no doubt. Now going to be under fire, though, from Nate Morris in that number 25. Morris looks pretty quick up there. As continuing to set the pace, Trevor Wester. Wester, a bandolero multi-time winner 
in that AW car, the 18 of Chris Coo and Olivia Murray in that 06 car, and Bradley Lomaster, your top four, right now are in Nate Morris, Zachary Murtis, out of the money as they make their way up off from turn number two. And this time by, the signal goes out halfway down, halfway to go when they reach the strike. This just tells you, Steve, how strong the VP Racing Semi-Pro class is this year. You got guys like Wesker and Kuhn, Murray, even Zach Murtis, who runs over at Wake County and people like that. I mean, there's a lot of really good race cars having to race their way into tonight's feature. Man, they have really stepped up the program. Got to give props to Graham Smith and company. They have really built this up. He, Kyle McGowan, to make summer shootout continue to grow the way it has. 156 cars here tonight. 156 cars in the pit area tonight, and there's some good ones, that's for sure. Here we are into turn number three, your front four, front five, a little bit of a breakaway. Four of these cars will transfer in. Trevor Wester leads down to the strike. Chris Kuhn rides second. Olivia Murray is third. Bradley Lomaster is fourth, but objects in the mirror, namely Nate Morris's car, getting a little bit larger as we say that, though he lost a little ground in turns one and two. Well, he's got to try something, and Lomaster's got to be careful not to give it to him. He made a big slide that time in turn three and lost three car lengths. That's just enough for Nate Morris to close in, and there it is again. Both of them slip in turn number two, and there's only a lap and a half to go. This is for the transfer spot. Battle is on for position number four. Lowmaster pretty smooth, was a groove higher, but able to maintain distance there. Off from turn number four, white flag is out. Keep an eye on Morris, dives low, nothing there. In fact, gives up a car length, two car lengths, three car lengths. At the front of the field, Trevor Wester into turn number three. Up off from turn number four, Wester gonna get the win. Chris Kuhn gonna transfer on. Olivia Murray gonna transfer on. And Bradley Lomaster, the fourth and final transfer spot. And that will do it. All of our qualification action and our B mains are done. And we're going A main racing here tonight. Round number one, it's cookout, kickoff night here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Man, so close yet so far away. I went from sixth to fifth, just one spot short, and uh, I'm not disappointed with that race. I ended up running a 17.60, which is my fastest lap time I've run here. And uh, to put that in perspective, if I'd run that in qualifying, I would have qualified 15th. So that's just how tight this field is. Two tenths of a second moves you from 30th to 15th. But uh, never mind. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll go out and try to qualify into the A main. And if we don't, we'll try to race our way in. Daggummit, so close. I was four one thousandths of a second away from being qualified in the A main. So dang close. But that's racing. So we got to go race our way in through the B main.
First up, we've got a B main for the VP Racing Fuel Semi Pro drivers. How this works is the top four drivers. The top four drivers will race in tonight's feature event. The rest will not qualify. Top four to qualify. Tessa Marine from Decano, Colorado in the 99. Nate Morris from Morganton, North Carolina, the 25. Scotty Benford and Randy Phillips in row number two. Will Gear and Zachary Murtis. David Sullivan, the fourth. Lance Griffith, Jack Poland, Jordan Plummer, Titan Malden, Jacob Link. Ten laps the distance. Four cars to qualify for tonight's A main. And then we'll get into our A main action. This is the only B main of the night. Here we go. Into turn number three. Ten laps the distance again. Off turn number four. Green lights are on. Well, we get through turn number one. Tessa Marine going to emerge as the leader, but the fight going to be behind that 99 for second, third, fourth, and every other position does not matter. You got to be fourth or better, and Nate Morris has it now, but Steve, he has got his hands full off turn two. Nate Morris has that spot. Here comes Zach Murtis down on the low side. We've got Randy Phillips in the 22, wheeling it in on the high side as they battle fourth, fifth, and sixth. Up off from turn number four, not able to make a challenge right now. Nate Morris hanging on to that fourth and final transfer spot. And we're spreading a little bit of space between himself and that 22 of Randy Phillips, but we saw it yesterday. One slip can give it up. And that's the last thing the 25 Morris wants to have happen. That time off turn number four, in fact, he did slip off the gap now, less than a car length, that fourth transfer spot, the final one to get into tonight's VP racing feature. Randy Phillips, now he got it crossed up a little bit, so Nate Morris able to hang on to that spot into turn number three, this time by completing lap number four of 10. Four of 10 as they make their way down into turns one and two. Tessa Marine out in the front spot. Battle for second, Scotty Benford has it. Will Gear wants it, and that battle for fourth still hot and heavy into turn number three. It is, the temperature is rising, no doubt. Morris defensive down the back straightaway that time. Same here in the front, running that lower lane. He's gonna make it, Randy Phillips go the long way around. Well, maybe not. He opened the door that time off turn number two. Phillips is there, still cannot take advantage. Phillips wheels it in on the high side, gonna try a high side pass up off from turn number four. Great run, this brings Zach Murtis back into the battle as well. Three cars battling for that final transfer spot. Morris just gave it away. Morris just slid up the racetrack. Randy Phillips says thank you very much. Cha-ching! Randy Morris up into the fourth and final qualifying spot. And Nate Morris got to be kicking himself. He tried to get just a little bit more in turn one, and it cost him heavily. Lost two spots, not only to Phillips, but Murtis. So now Nate Morris needs a yellow or a big mistake to race his way. And there's the mistake. It's his own yellow, mistake yellow, in yellow, turn yellow, number yellow, three. Yellow, high low, Morris is high, around, high, and high, caution high, three and is four, out. Aye, aye, aye. Nate Morris, yep, you could tell he's not happy. The turn of events in the last two minutes has not been pleasant for Nate Morris in that number 25. The racer out of Morganton, North Carolina, went from transferred in to two spots out to the back of the field here at about the last two minutes and 30 seconds. Higher low, higher low. Track caution lights have been extinguished. That cookout pace vehicle is going to get way out of harm's way. Two laps to go, four cars to qualify. Aye, 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 here we go. Down into turns one and two. Off that shoes, a couple of guys picked the outside that may or may not have worked out for them, and it looks like that's going to sort itself out. The fight again for the transfer spot. Murtis underneath the 22 of Phillips. That's going to give him the spot coming to the white flag. Murtis goes from the outhouse to not quite the penthouse, but he's at least on his way there. Yes, he is. We'll see what happens as uh, the uh, 99 continues to lead. Tessa Marine continues to lead the battle for fourth spot. Phillips tries to get in there, massage the back bumper, nothing doing. Marine going to get the win. Benford going to be second. Gear is going to be third. And Zach Murtis in the last lap and a half gets that final transfer spot. Murtis in the 0-2. The racer out of Wake Forest, North Carolina is racing in tonight's A-Main. Rest of those drivers will not qualify for tonight's VP Racing Fuel Legends Car Semi-Pro feature of that a main time here tonight at the speedway well that couldn't have gone much worse
went from second place, pretty much locked into the feature, to fourth place, having to hold off the charging pack, and then I spun myself out. But uh, I, I don't know. I guess I just got in my head there a little bit, started looking in the mirrors, and uh, just didn't run my line. Unfortunate, I really wanted to be part of that big race, but uh, we've got next week to come back and try it again. Man, that just stinks. At least I got a good bit of TV coverage. But uh, no, the ironic thing is that during the race, I ran a 1771, which was fast enough to put me into the A main on time in qualifying. So if I'd just run that a little bit earlier in the day, wouldn't have had to worry about this. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully next week's results are a little bit better. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.